Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So today's session we are going to discuss about 16 bit division in 8085 microprocessor. So previous session we discussed in 8085 microprocessor in 8 bit division function. So let us go to the program. So before writing the program, first you split the two columns. So first column represent the program counter value, second column represent the numerics. So the origin of the program will start with 2000 Hz. So this 2000 Hz is a program counter value. So in this memory location, it point some instruction. So this instruction represent LXI B0000 Hz. So this 0000 Hz is a 16 bit value. So this 16 bit value is transferred to the B register. So this instruction represent L for load function. So X represent for the 16 bit value. I represent for the immediate value. So in the instruction itself, Pausing the one 16 bit value. So this 16 bit immediate value is transferred to BC pair. So here you consider as a BC pair, not a B register. After execution of this instruction, BC pair value equal to 0, 0, 0, 0 Hz. So this value is moved to BC pair. The next instruction 2003 LHLD 2052. So it's a memory location. So in this memory location, whatever content present, that content is transferred to L register. Next to successive memory location, that content is transferred to H register. So let us consider the 116 bit value for this memory location. So the 16 bit value is double to double. So this value is transferred to the L register and also H register. So 2052, this memory location, it carry the double to. 2053 this memory location carry doubled. So after execution of this instruction, first data is loaded to the HR pair register. So it's also 3 byte instruction. You need a 3 memory locations to execute the instruction. The next instruction location is 2006. So in this memory location, it point exchange instruction. So exchange means just exchanging the content between the two registers. So here you consider the 16 bit register. So HR pair. D so whatever value present in HR, so this content is transferred to D. So after execution of this instruction, D pair value double to double to. So for you get the first instruction, first data. The next memory location 2007. So in this memory location, it point LHLD 2050. So this memory location is represent the second value. The second value you can get on that value is transferred to HR pair register. Let us consider the second value 4466. So it's also one 16 bit value. So this value is transferred to HN L register. So 66 move for L register, 44 move for H register. So here you can get the two values just dividing the two content. So normal cal calculation of division function double four double six so this value divided by double two double two so the quotient value is two so just to multiply this value double four double four double four double four so remainder two two zero zero so twenty two is a remainder two is a quotient so this manual calculation just apply in the assembly language program you can get the result in binary form. So after meeting the two values, now you can apply the subtraction function. So the division function means repeated subtraction. So repeated subtraction. So how many iterations you want to perform the division function. So the next instruction 2008. So in this program counter, it point move a comma here. So whatever value present in L register, that content is transferred to A register. The L register content is 66. So after execution of this instruction, A value 66. Then the memory location, next memory location is 200B. So in this memory location, subtract E. So in division function, there is no 16 bit direct division instruction. You first split the 16 bit value into two 8 bit values. So 8, 8 bit value only you can apply the subtraction function. So subtract E. So after execution of this function, the result stored in accumulator. So A minus 
A. So whatever value present in accumulator that content is subtract with A register. So just you apply the manual calculation for this function. So first you write the binary number for A. So 6 66 you write the binary number then E value. So equal on E value binary number so double 2. So this is the binary number of this. Just to subtract the two values. So 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0. So after subtraction you can get the result 44. So this 44 is transferred to L register. The next instruction is no L comma A. So whatever value present in accumulator that content is transferred to L register. So now L register value is 44. So after execution 44 this value is moved to L register. The next memory location 200D. So here the H content is transferred to A register. Move A comma H. So whatever value present in H the content is transferred to A. So after execution of this instruction A value is 44. So A content is 44. Then Subtract with borrow. Next instruction is B, B, D. Subtract with borrow. So D value. So after execution of this instruction, the result of accumulator is so A minus D minus borrow. So borrow value. Just to subtract in the three content. Okay. So first you write the binary number for A and D. So A value is 44. Write the binary number of 44 then d value so d value is 22 write the binary number for 22 just subtracting the content 0 so 0 minus 1 not possible so you can get the borrow from the nearest bit so 10 10 minus 1 1 so this value is 0 0 minus 0 0 0 0 again you get the borrow from nearest to bit so 10 minus 1 1 so this value is 0 0 0 so after subtraction of this function the result is 22 so in this case you don't have borrow so borrow value you consider as 0 so 0 minus anything the same value right here so next instruction 200f so move h comma a so it's not a comma h so h comma a. So whatever value present in A register, that content is transferred to H register. So after execution of this instruction, the H value is 22. So 22 is a output. Then the next instruction is 2010, JC 2017. So here you just check the conditions. So in this subtraction, there is any carry produced or there is no carry. Just check the condition. Whether the condition is true, we go to the memory location 2017. So in this case, the condition is false. If once condition is false, just ignore the instruction, then execute the next instruction. The next instruction location is 2013. So in this memory location, the instruction is INX B. Just increment the BC pair value. So this X represent for 16 bit value, you consider as a BC pair register. So this BC pair register value increment by 1. So beginning of the program, the BC pair register value 0000. So after execution of this instruction, BC value triple zero one. Just increment by 1. Then the next instruction jump 2000A. So in this instruction is a non-conditional branch group instruction. Just jump the instruction. So whatever instruction specified in the location, so that location you can load the program counter. So 2008. So after execution of this instruction, you can move this memory location. 2008. So here the instruction is move A comma L. So whatever value present in L register, so this value is transferred to accumulator. So L register value is 44. So 44 is moved to accumulator. The next instruction SUB E. So subtract the E value. So E value on accumulator value. The accumulator value is 44. E value 22. 
just to subtracting the value 0 so take borrow from the nearest bit 10 so 10 minus 1 1 so this value is 0 0 0 0 10 so this value is 0 10 minus 1 1 0 0 so after subtraction this value is 22 so next the accumulator value move to L register so previously whatever I told the same function only here also execute then next instruction 200d move a comma h the h value is 22 so this 22 is transferred to a register so after execution of this instruction a value is 22 so here also subtract with borrow d so accumulator content is a minus d minus borrow so in this function also no borrow condition so just subtracting the a and d value so d value is 22 you write the value and subtract 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So after subtraction, all the bits are set to be 0. Then the accumulator content is transferred to Hutch register. Then check the condition. So whether the subtraction is produced the borrow, sorry, carry or no carry. So in this case also, no carry. The condition is false. So false means it executes the next instruction, INX, B. Increment the BC pair value. Now the BC pair value is 0, 0, 0, 2. So after execution of this instruction, the BC pair value is 0, 0, 0, 2. Then you go to the location jump 2008. So after execution of this instruction, the program counter new value is 2008. Again, you go to this instruction move a comma l. So whatever value present in L register, the content is transferred to A register. The L register value is 22. So this value is moved to A register. Then subtract E. So E value 22. You write the binary number of E. Subtracting the two value. So after subtraction, you can get all the values of 0. Then the accumulator content is transferred to L register move a comma h the h value is moved to a so h value already 0 0 the 0 0 value moved to a register now accumulator equal to 0 0 then subtract d value subtract borrow with d so here also borrow is 0 so d value 22 just subtracting the value 0 so 0 minus 1 there is no possibility to get the carry value so borrow value you can get the borrow from outside of the bit so this carry bit is propagated to the next bit so this value equal to 1 1 1 1 1 1 10 so 10 minus 1 1 so 1 1 1 1 1, one, one sorry 0 1 so after subtraction of this value you can get the result then you check the condition so jc 2017 the next instruction is jc 2017 so in this case carry value is present in the subtraction the condition is true so once the condition is true it ignore the instruction you directly go to the specified memory location the specified memory location is 2017 so in this memory location it point that the instruction so double addition okay so after execution of this instruction the hatchel pair value is equal to hatchel plus d just adding the two register content okay the hatchel pair content is here you write then d pair value is all the values are double two double two double two so you write the binary number of 22 22 just adding the two content zero so 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, so 0, 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry value 1, so you can write the carry here, 1 plus 1, sum 0, carry 1, sum 0, carry 1, sum 0, carry 1, sum 0, carry 1, here also carry 1, so 0, the carry will set to 1, so after the double addition the h value 
zero zero L value twenty two. Okay, so it's a remainder. You can get the remainder double zero twenty two. So here also you get double zero twenty two. The quotient is two. So B C pair register is stored the quotient value. So the quotient is zero 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 two. So after that function, you can get the remainder value and also quotient value. The next portion is result storing point. So the memory location is two zero one eight. So in this memory location, you specify the instruction is S K L D two zero five six. So whatever value present in H C L pair register. The content is transferred to two zero five six. So first you move the L register content to the specified location two zero five six. The L content is twenty two. So twenty two is stored in a memory location two zero five six. The next successive memory location is two zero five seven. So in this memory location, the H register value is zero zero. So after execution of this instruction, the first memory location is stored twenty two. The successive memory location is to zero zero. Then the next instruction two zero one b. So in this memory location, you point move L comma C. So whatever value present in C register, so this content is transferred to L. So here the B C pair value double zero zero two. So C register content zero two, B register content zero zero. So first you move the C register content to L register. Now L register value is zero two. Then the next instruction move H comma B. So whatever value present in B register, that content is transferred to H register. The H value is zero zero. So after getting the lower register, L register value, then H register value, you can store the result into the specified memory location. The program counter value is two zero one D. So in this program counter location point S K C L D two zero five. So in this memory location you can store the quotient value. So two zero five four. First you store the L register content zero two. The successive memory location two zero five five. So in this memory location you store the H register value. So H register value is double zero. So It's a quotient value. It's a remainder value. So end of the program two zero two zero. It represents the halt. So halt declare there is no instruction. So after that, that will declare to the microprocessor. So first you understand the manual calculation. So using the manual calculation, you can write the program easily. Okay. So thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe. Thank you.